How's it going, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Fast Hands Gaming. I'm your boy, Fast, and we are back on Clash of Beasts today, and we're on the test server. And guess what? We have the first mythic of the season of the Drakes. That's right, guys. This is going to be the new Jag. This is going to be so good. You don't even understand how good this thing is. We can finally say we have another good beast to replace Jag. Is what I would have liked to told you, but that's not the case, guys. I'm sorry. That's not the case at all. Not even close. Um, it's actually very disappointing. Anyway, let's go over the skills. We'll hit a easy base just to show them off the skills, give them a little bit of credit, make them look pretty, and then I'll show you what he's like on a real base. So first off, we have Burning Fire Beam. So basically, this is just his regular Berserker attack which is obviously the beam, but it does damage over time. It says it does fire damage, but it's damage over time. That's what it really is. Um, next, we have the Ruby Torpedo. So basically, you get two giant rubies at each of its sides, and they shoot forward like a gun, and forcing, uh, piercing any target within the path, damaging and stunning them. Obviously, if its soul is charged, because that's the glit or the, the niche of this whole season is the soul charged from the gods, uh, the stun duration is extended. Next, like a lot of Berserkers, we do have his Critical Reflection, so this will reflect some damage on a critical hit, and he'll obviously get a HP, a little bit of HP, and a short buff. And then we also have his Crimson Chaos, which is the beast expels a burning crystal from its chest, damaging all tires in the targeted area. If the beast's soul is charged, the attack will reoccur a second a time. And then obviously he has his other passive, which is just the same thing like all the other dragons. That it's just, Once you take out three towers, which is kind of the thing with these dragons this season, then they get the soul charge that does not go away until they die. Um, just for newer players, I definitely suggest that anyone that is using these dragons um like i said you really want to maximize destroying those towers as fast as possible those three to really get the beast going so um if you're following up on someone else uh say someone else is attacking and then you're going in obviously it should be a little bit easier hopefully if you're by yourself and then you swap into another beast make sure that you leave some easy towers for that especially if you have a defender leave some easy towers that you think you could take out with the dragon that way you can get that soul charge faster anyway let's go ahead and attack like i said we're gonna hit nice and easy nothing hard like i said just wanna just wanna make him look pretty before i make him look like he, like he really is um Unfortunately, I have known about this guy for a while. So let's go ahead and... Obviously, I don't need to use the skills at the moment. Level 50 is more than enough to take on this base. I feel like I'm watching a giant red salamander. All right, so let's go ahead, get those rubies. Boom! Two at... Oh, it took about three. Not bad, not bad. And then let's go ahead and when we get on the corner... I'll go ahead and pop that so he's got that critical. We'll go ahead and do his beam from the chest and see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and nothing. Oh, I guess I have to place it. My bad. Well, so, okay, that's not bad, I guess. Um, we'll try that again now that I know where it's at. So it looks like you can place this. We'll go ahead and place it there. So it's about uh, about two, four, three, four towers. Depends. And then see if I can see how much. It... So, I mean, it's a, it's okay with his critical. Not bad. Now let's go ahead and let's look at hitting a real base. I think I know just the one. I know it very well. So let's see what this guy can do on my base. If it loads. Okay, so we got to get that Billy going really pretty quickly. Now there is one tower. Come on. Now, you're supposed to let the beam charge up on a Berserker, but I know I see a lot of people... Oh, oh, what do you know? He died. He died, guys. He died. So let's try that one more time. Because maybe that was just me. Maybe it's not the beast, right? Maybe. Maybe. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit my base again. 
So as you can see, I have a lot of Vorm on my towers, on my, my build, so it's not like it's an easy base for him. So we'll give him a little bit of credit. Maybe it was my fact, my problem. You know, maybe I need to shoot the beam out faster. Like again, they, they prefer for you to charge it so he does more damage, but maybe again, it's just me. Maybe we'll try using the, uh, the beam in the middle of the tower of his chest first. Oh, um, yeah, so that did almost no damage. So we'll just start blasting away like it's nothing. And, I mean, it's get up. Oh, nope, nope, he died. He died. So, yeah. That's Garnon, guys. That is a level 50, as you can see, max. Um, yeah. So let's get into why he is just not... He's not the dragon that we need, but apparently he's the dragon that the dev team felt we deserved. Um, now, he's all about the power. He's all about damage. However, the biggest glaring fact is, and I didn't say it when I was in going over the skills, is guess what? He has no way to get mana regen. Yes, he can heal himself, but it doesn't matter if he's dead because he can't use his skills. Um, biggest problem right there off the bat, and as you can see, he does very little damage, especially when he's going against his own tower, um, which a lot of people do put in. I know I personally like it because it deals the extra damage. Um, a beast, like I've said since I started making these videos, needs really, really when you get down to it, three things. You need a way to gain HP or heal, yeah, basically heal. You need a way to gain mana. And you need to have a decent AoE. Now, he does have a decent AoE. I mean, this thing is all about damage. Um, but it is not. Now, repeat. This is not a lead dragon. This is not going to replace Jag. This barely, barely... It, I'd say it's probably on the same level as Yeti Boy. Um, and I would say I like Yeti Boy. I like this look better. But Yeti Boy can... He has an invincibility shield. He can gain mana. I mean, so this thing... Is honestly a letdown, guys. I'm really sorry. Like, this... I know a lot of people were expecting Season 3 to be really good. I mean, a lot of us come from games that play dragons. You know, I'm not gonna... And I'm gonna say it, War Dragons. You know, so we had a lot of expectations. I mean, it, and I told people, it's how hard is it to make a good dragon? Apparently very hard. Um, it is disappointing. I know that we keep getting Berserkers. Obviously, there's someone on the team that is all about the Berserkers. And I would think that... With that much passion and love for a beast type, um, you know, at least make it as good as the frog. At least good as the frog. If not, maybe a little bit better, worse. That way it's still good, but not absolutely bad. Um, now, where you can use this thing? Well, it's a good placement on your bench. Um, it he's a good bench warmer because he's all fire. So he'll, he'd, he'll, he'll keep you at the bench warm for the other guys. Um but no, uh, I would suggest this is not a lead dragon. This is going to be your backup dragon. Um, if you have enough tower, if you have enough towers to get the soul charge, or if you are almost done, then he should have enough power to d go destroy a couple, of, maybe an island and half an island, and maybe a whole long island. It's not the first one. Um, that's really about it. Um, unfortunately, he is a big letdown. We do have two more dragons. We have one more mythic, and that mythic has a lot. It's going to be a Hala. Um, I can't, obviously can't say the type, um, but it's going to have a lot riding on it. Um, this season, for a lot of people, is make or, you know, do or die. And unfortunately, this thing is, for, you know, for what it's supposed to represent, it's just not good. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time. I hope you... I'll have a good week with Clan Conquest, and I'll see you around. Peace.